Shocked Quartz reveals evidence of a historical cosmic airburst. Researchers are expanding the case for the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis, which proposes that a fragmented comet smashed into Earth's atmosphere 12,800 years ago. This event caused a widespread climatic shift, leading to an abrupt reversal of Earth's warming trend and into the near-glacial Younger Dryas period. The Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis suggests that a fragmented comet collided with Earth's atmosphere, causing significant climatic changes. This event is believed to have led to the abrupt cooling period known as the Younger Dryas. Researchers, including UC Santa Barbara Emeritus Professor James Kennett, have found evidence supporting this hypothesis in the form of proxies associated with the cosmic airburst. These proxies are distributed over several sites in the eastern United States, including New Jersey, Maryland, and South Carolina. One of the key pieces of evidence supporting the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis is the presence of shocked quartz. Shocked quartz is characterized by a pattern of lines called lamellae that indicates stress great enough to deform the crystal structure of quartz. This type of quartz is typically found in impact craters. However, linking shocked quartz to cosmic airbursts has been more challenging. Kennett and his colleagues have found that the pressures and temperatures involved in these airbursts are consistent with touchdown airbursts that don't form significant craters. In addition to shocked quartz, researchers have identified other materials indicative of the force and temperature involved in the cosmic airburst. These materials include platinum, microspherals, melt glass, and shock fractured quartz. The sediment layer associated with the airburst stretches across much of the northern hemisphere and contains unusually high levels of rare materials associated with cosmic impacts, such as iridium and platinum. These materials are formed under high pressures and temperatures, providing further evidence of the cosmic airburst. The Earth is bombarded daily by tons of celestial debris, ranging from tiny dust particles to cataclysmic impacts like the Chicxulub event that caused the extinction of dinosaurs 65 million years ago. The Chicxulub impact left a 150-kilometer-wide crater in the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico. In contrast, the 1908 Tunguska event in Siberia, caused by a roughly 40-meter diameter asteroid, did not leave a crater but knocked down 2,150 square kilometers of forest. The comet responsible for the Younger Dryas cooling episode is estimated to have been 100 kilometers wide and fragmented into thousands of pieces. The findings of Kennett and his colleagues have significant implications for our understanding of cosmic impacts and their effects on Earth's climate and ecosystems. The presence of shocked quartz and other impact proxies suggests that the Younger Dryas impact event was a low-altitude bolide airburst. This event caused widespread burning and abrupt climatic changes, leading to the extinction of 35 genera of megafauna in North America, including mammoths and giant ground sloths. It also contributed to the collapse of the Clovis culture, a flourishing human culture at the time. There's a whole range of different shocked quartz, so we have to make a well-documented case that they are indeed significant for interpreting cosmic impact, even though they're not reflecting a traditional major crater-forming event," said Kennett. In conclusion, the evidence of shocked quartz and other impact proxies supports the Younger Dryas impact hypothesis. This hypothesis proposes that a fragmented comet caused a cosmic airburst 12,800 years ago, leading to significant climatic changes and mass extinctions. The findings of Kennett and his colleagues provide valuable insights into the nature of cosmic impacts and their effects on Earth's history. These discoveries continue to expand our understanding of the forces that have shaped our planet.